What did Jesus say about borders? Bible Nuggets. Jesus Christ's teachings, as recorded in the New Testament, do not directly address the concept of national borders in the way we might understand them in modern political or social contexts. His teachings focused more on spiritual principles, the nature of the kingdom of God, ethical living, and the treatment of others. However, some passages can be interpreted to have implications for how we think about borders, nations, and how we treat those from other countries or communities. 1. Matthew 22:21. Render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. While this verse is often interpreted as guidance on the separation of church and state or the duty to pay taxes, it also acknowledges the existence of governmental authority and structures, which could be extrapolated to include borders. 2. Matthew 25 35-40 For I was hungry and you gave me food, I was thirsty and you gave me drink, I was a stranger and you welcomed me. In this passage, Jesus emphasizes the importance of showing compassion and hospitality to those in need, including strangers. This can be seen as a call to treat all people, regardless of national origin or status, with kindness and generosity. 3. Galatians 3.28 There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free, there is no male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. While this is from Paul the Apostle, it reflects the teachings of Jesus on the equality of all people before God, suggesting that human-made distinctions, including those of nationality, are not relevant in the spiritual community of believers. 3 Takeaways 1. Compassion without borders, Jesus' teachings encourage us to extend love, compassion, and hospitality to everyone, including those who are from different countries, cultures, or communities. This suggests a view of humanity that transcends national borders and emphasizes universal brotherhood and care for the stranger among us. 2. Acknowledgement of governmental authority. While Jesus' teachings focus primarily on our responsibilities to God and each other, there is an acknowledgement of the role of governmental authorities. This implies that while borders and nations are a part of the earthly governance system, our treatment of others should be guided by higher spiritual and moral principles. 3. Equality and unity in Christ. The emphasis on spiritual unity in Christ challenges us to look beyond societal, cultural, and national divisions, advocating for an inclusive approach that values every individual equally. This principle can inspire efforts toward peace, reconciliation, and mutual respect across borders. While these teachings do not provide specific policies or stances on modern issues of immigration or national security, they do offer foundational principles that can inform a Christian approach to thinking about and engaging with issues related to borders and how we treat those from different nations. Greg Gaines Father, Grandfather, Minister, Missionary, Deacon, Elder, Author, Digital Missionary, Foster Parents, Welcome to our family https colon slash slash jesusleadershiptraining.com slash about a slash.